over 614 megs of free memory on my second generation device. How? Well, as promised guys, I've now got the Fire Stick Debloat tool working on these older second generation devices. So whether you have a second generation Fire TV stick or a Fire TV, any of these devices running Fire OS 5 can take advantage of this new Debloat tool. On top of that, I've actually applied three custom ADB commands, which really give a massive boost to performance. So navigating around the UI, clicking on things, selecting things, everything just seems so much more snappy than before. So in this video today, let me show you how you can use the Debloat tool on your device and then also run those three custom ADB commands. So do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so quick disclaimer before we start. The 4K Fire Stick to Bloat tool, the way it works is we have the ability to disable up to 40 different Amazon processes. You can check off those processes, run the tool, and it disables all of them for you. Now, as I mentioned in my previous video, a couple of those processes will actually stop Amazon Prime Video working. And if you want to use Amazon Prime Video, then don't tick those particular processes. And that's how it works on the 4K Debloat tool. Now on the older Fire OS 5 devices, we do not have the ability to disable processes because that command is just not available. What we can actually do is uninstall those processes for the current user, which is yourself. Now what that means is we can uninstall up to 15 different processes, but once they're uninstalled, there's actually no way you can get them back unless you do a factory reset. Now saying all of that, I've uninstalled all 15 processes on my second generation Fire TV and it's not caused any issues on my device. Prime Video still works. All of the applications I use still work. And of course the device is just a lot more snappier than before. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the process on my second generation Fire TV stick. Now, before we start the process, the only two things we need to do are confirm your IP address and also make sure that ADB debugging is enabled. So if I go over to settings, go to my Fire TV, go to developer options and make sure this is on. Once you've done that, Let's go to about, and here we can just see my IP address ends in 146. Now, the reason why this is important is, as we know on the second generation devices, we cannot make any ADB connection directly on the device itself. You have to make that connection from another Android device. So maybe your Android phone or your Android tablet. And in my example, I'm going to use an Android emulator on my PC. And if you don't know how to install that, I will leave a link in the video description. Okay, so we've confirmed my IP address and we've confirmed that ADB debugging is enabled. Let's now go over to my Android emulator and here it is. And the first thing I'm going to do is just open up a browser, navigate to my tutorials page and in the tutorials page, the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can supercharge your old Fire OS 5 devices. Let's open that up now. And here is that tutorial. Let's scroll down. And the first thing we have here are those ADB tweaks. Now, what we can do is enter in three commands and that will really improve the performance of your user interface. So when you're on the home screen of your Fire Stick, when you're navigating around the menus, when you're clicking on things, all of those things can be made a lot faster by applying these three tweaks. Let's go down. So the first thing we need to do is download Remote ADB Show. So you can click on this link here and download that. So click on this thing here and download Remote ADB Show onto your Android device, whether that was your phone or your tablet, or in my case, the Android emulator. Once you've downloaded that, we can see I've installed it here. Here it is. And let's go back and let's now also download the Fire OS 5 Debloat tool. This is actually a cool start page, guys, which I won't click on myself, but do have a look and let me know what you think. Okay, so here is the Debloat tool. Click on this link here and download that. So here is Remote ADB Shell and here is the Fire OS 5 Debloat tool. Let's start with ADB Shell first and let's now enter in the IP address of our second generation Fire TV stick. Once you've typed that in, now when we click on connect, there should be a prompt on the TV or wherever your Fire Stick is plugged into asking you to accept that connection. Let's see if it does that. Let's click on connect. And that's actually connected straight away because on my device, I had already accepted that connection prompt. On your device, you should see the prompt on your TV. And if you don't see that prompt, all you need to do is go back into your ADB settings, turn that off for a couple of seconds, turn that back on, then come back to Remote ADB Show and you should then be able to make that connection. 
And once you see the prompt here, that means you are now connected. Okay, let's go back and let's get the first command. So I can now just highlight all of this. I can now click here. Make sure all of this is selected. Click on copy. Let's go back. Go back to remote ADB shell. Click at the bottom and just do a control V for paste. There it is. And as long as you don't get any errors, that command has now gone in. Let's go back and get the second command. Let's get all of that highlighted. Click on copy. Let's go back to remote ADB shell. Let's do a control V. That's the second command. Let's go back and let's now get the final command. Now, a key thing is on these older Fire OS devices, this change is actually only applied when you reboot the device. So we're not gonna notice any difference in performance until we restart it. Okay, let's now highlight the third one. Let's get the final command. Click on copy. Let's go back. Let's do a final paste. Now, in case you're wondering why is the last command a 0 0.5 and not zero, I actually discovered a bug where if you do set it as zero, then the virtual mouse inside downloader will just go from side to side and you won't be able to select anything. So that's why the last command, the animated duration scale is actually set to 0.5. Okay, so we've done the first part of the process. Let's go back to home. Let's now start the debloat tool. Let's click on that. And here is the Fire OS Debloat tool. And the first thing it asks you is, what is the IP address of your Fire OS 5 device? And here I've just typed that in, so that's 146. Let's now click on Connect. And we now see this prompt, which means it's asking our device, do you allow this connection? So let's go back to the Fire Stick. And there it is, guys. So that's the prompt that you want to see on your device to make sure that the Debloat tool can actually connect to it. So make sure you click on Always Allow and click on OK. Let's go back to the tool. And there is just the warning one more time that anything that you uninstall, if you do want to bring it back, you will have to do a factory reset of your device. Let's click on OK. And here we are, guys. So this is the Fire OS Debloat tool. So do give a thumbs up for that. We can see this is now connected. And here we can just see all of these background processes will now be uninstalled when we run this tool. And once again, this won't affect Amazon Prime Video. OK, so you can actually individually tick these things off if you want to. But if you just want to follow what I did, I just clicked up here, which basically means select all. I can now click on the tick box on the top right. And this should now go ahead and start uninstalling those processes for you. And there we can see the first success. So that's now uninstalled the Buella music. And that's the second one done. So this may take a couple of minutes. Okay, so the first four were successful. If you do see any message like internal error, that means on your device, that process has already been removed. And we'll actually demonstrate that when I restart this device and run the toolbox again. Okay, let me just speed up the video. Okay, that process is now completed. And as we can see, out of those 15 processes, I was able to uninstall 13 of them. Now, when I followed the same process on my second generation Fi TV, I was actually able to uninstall all 15. So there may be slight variances depending on which Fire OS 5 device that you have. But as we can see, guys, most of those processes are now uninstalled. What we need to do now is to actually do a reboot of the device. Now, the quickest way to reboot your device is just to hold the play and the select buttons together. Let's do that now for five seconds. And I should then restart the device and we can see it's done exactly that. Now, let me just take this opportunity to say a massive thanks to all of the new members of my channel. Your support really does mean a lot. And if any of you guys want to sign up, I'm doing a special promotion for the first 100 members whereby all of you can join my private chat group. And in this chat group, we can talk about stuff, we can provide support to each other, and we can even share our APKs. So some of those applications, some of those toolboxes I'm working on, you guys can get early access to them. So if that sounds of interest to you, do have a look out for the join button. Thank you. Okay, so the device is now restarted, which means those three ADB performance commands have also gone in. And just seeing now, guys, clicking on these things, opening up these options, it does feel a lot more snappy than before, especially on this really old second generation Fire TV stick. Okay, that's the first test. The second test we're going to do is let's go back to the tool and let's see what happens now when we actually run it again, because those things that we've uninstalled, we want to make sure they don't come back after a reboot. Let's go over to my emulator. Let's back out of this, back again. Let's connect again. Okay, we're now connected. Let's now highlight everything again and click on run. Now we can see, guys, everything's just coming back with an error because those processes now just do not exist on our system. And we can see that the tool can now no longer find those 15 processes. Let's now jump over to our Fire Stick. Let's now try Prime Video. 
just to make sure that uninstalling those 15 processes has not blocked anything from working. Let's click on that. Let's just try one of these over here. Click on that. Click on play. Just to make sure that that still plays okay. And that's working absolutely fine. Let's just forward that a bit. And that's working great. Okay, let's back out of that. So uninstalling those things has not affected Prime Video. But overall, guys, we now have a lot more memory available. We have a lot more snappier UI, user interface, and these old legacy Fire OS 5 devices have been given another lease of life. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. So many of you are asking for this Diplo tool for these older devices. So I do hope you like it. Do let me know, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.